guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tanya and I like to do videos on everything to do with beauty, whether that's skincare, makeup, everything in between, including hair care, you name it. But today's not about that, today is about Ballabox. If you're here, you're probably here because you want to know what Ballabox is about, what's in it, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is, is this is our February for 2019 Bella Box. I'm still getting used to the new year, so I'm still saying 2018 sometimes. But anyway, what I'll do is, is I'm going to open up this box for you. I'm going to show you everything that's in it. Um, for those who are just interested to see what's in the boxes for February in 2019. And then after that, I'm going to explain how much these items cost. Um, how much the Bella Box costs, the subscription, everything about it, and then if there's anything to swatch after that, I may do swatches after that. Or if I've tried any of these products, I'll give you a brief description on what personally they work for me. So, if you're interested in seeing this, stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Like I said, all I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to show you what is inside the box. This is what the box looks like. It comes in a wrapper, um, so everything's pretty much protected. And this is for Australia and New Zealand. Um, I'm thinking that they're probably going to be doing it worldwide eventually, but at the moment it's Australia and New Zealand. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, we're going to have a look at what's in the box. Then if you want to watch further after that, I'll explain to you the value, um, how much Bella Box costs uh, to subscribe, everything that entails all of that, including like your beauty profile, etc. And then we'll swatch or discuss the products afterwards if you're still interested. All right, here we go. I've already opened up mine because I can't help it. And I personally feel like first impressions um, and op unboxings are great and everything because you can see the surprise in my face but that's not why you're here I mean you want to know if you're going to get value for money if the products that are in there are actually halfway decent and I personally think that they are so this box as I said is February 2019 is based about sunkissed you get a little thing here which will explain to you everything that's in here the value of everything it's a nice little reading material anyway so it comes with black pieces of tissue paper. Usually there's a sticker to hold it down. You open it up and you have all your products in there. So let's just start pulling it out. So I have in here is Pantene Foam Conditioner Repair and Protect. So it's this, take the lid off obviously and squirt some foam in there. It's supposed to be like a, um, a lightweight, um, a lightweight conditioner that doesn't weigh your hair down and I need that I mean I stopped using conditioner a while back because it was weighing all my hair down and then I cut all my hair off and I don't actually use conditioner at all now so um I actually am looking forward to you know trying this and seeing if it's any good and um I sort of shied away from Pantene a long time ago but this is cool, this is interesting, and I actually do want to try this it's not something that I would have picked up from the store myself which is another reason why I like Ballabox moving on I have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Creamy Cleanser and Makeup Remover, as you can see there. Now, generally I use a cleansing oil because I have dry skin, but um, this looks like it might actually, yeah, this looks like it might actually work alright. So I am excited to try something like this. I, like I said, I do love my oils, but um, hmm, I might actually smell this, so see if it smells like the other ones. Oh, it's squirted out everywhere. Yep, smells exactly like their moisturizers, so um, that's cool. I'm excited to try that. Now we have a couple of makeup items here. We have, it's the Manicada Beauty Bloom Volumizing Mascara in Jet Black. I'll just take it out. It's got cute packaging. I absolutely love that. It's very creative. So it's got this sort of twisty effect. And I'll show you the applicator. So it's not like an hourglass, it's kind of like just a regular sort of, I'll put that down for a minute, it's just like a regular sort of stick. Um, it's, I don't know, it's not, it's not rubber, it's, um, uh, I don't know what you call that, but maybe if you can see it a little bit better. It's bristles, that's the word I'm looking for. So um, I actually have tried this, which I'll discuss further on in the video, my opinion about this. But um, I love the packaging. And it's a full price, uh, full sized item as well, so that's a definite bonus. And yeah, so we have another makeup item, which is the Model Co. Metallic Eyeshadow Trio, which I'll pull that out. 
So I have the colour My Konos. I think that's how it says. Oh, can you see that? Hang on. I'll pop that open. Doesn't smell like anything. There we go. So I also have played around with this. I'll explain it later. And the last thing, oh no, it's not the last thing. We got this sachet of um, tea, I guess. It's by Puka, Paka, I'm not sure. But it's a black currant beauty, delicious deep purple organic fruits to help glow inside and out. So it's a little, I believe it's a tea bag. Maybe, hang on, oh, I'm not actually sure. But it kind of smells funny, like, Smells like licorice. I am going to try that. I'm a little bit intimidated to try that, but I'll try anything once. So, <laughs> moving on. Um, I think that's that's the bonus. So, um, and the last item was the What Not 100% What's Good Natural Organic Purifying Facial Wipe. So we get five of those. And um, uh, what I believe is these are 100% biodegradable, so that's a bonus. I've never tried these, and I'm always excited to get wipes. Um, I don't use wipes a lot, but uh, I like to take swatches off, and they are really good and come in handy for um, removing liquid lipstick. So, mm. anyway. So that's what's in my box. There are boxes that are going to have some different things. I know some ladies, instead of getting the wipes and the clean cr cream cleanser, got um, face masks. There was two different types of face, ma face masks. I really wanted to get one of the face masks, but you know what? That's the other thing about it. If you don't necessarily get 100% what you want every time, um, you do get like sneak peeks of what other people get or what you may get and what I like about that is it gives me ideas of what's available now in the market. I don't get out a lot and um, and I love masks and I didn't even know that that one was available to buy so I'm a little bit excited about that. I'm going to go down and I'm going to pick myself up one and had I not known about Bella Box, had I not paid attention to the unboxings or anything like that then I wouldn't even know it exists. So I may not have gotten it but because of Bella Box, I've seen it. I'm aware of it, now I'm going to get it. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to explain to you how much these products are worth, whether they were full size. So, the Mana Kadar, um Mascara, obviously it's a full size one, and it's usually $29 and available at Manakada Cosmetics. That's uh, $29 USD, so a little bit more Australian. Um, yeah, okay. Um, the Model & Co Trio Eyeshadow is also a full size. Well, okay. So that is $18 and it's available at modelco.com. Beautiful. The This little bad boy, the foam, the full size one. I could have received a couple of different things with this. I could have either received the Repair and Protect Foam Conditioner, which is this, or a three, mir three minute miracle conditioner daily moisture renewal. I'm glad I got this. I wanted this over the other one, so yay! And I think that comes down to my beauty profile, which I'll explain to you about in a minute. Um, and so anyway, um, for the full size of this is normally $9.99 for an 180ml um, thingamajiggy. Available at Coles, Woolworths, Chemist Warehouse and Priceline. Thingamajiggy. Um, pump thingy. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, like I've made that any better. Alright, and the um, the other item is $6.99 available at Coles, Chemist Warehouse, Priceline, Woolworths. Yeah. Alright, the Whatnot um, Purifying Facial Wipes. Usually a pack of 25 will cost you about $8.99 at Chemist Warehouse and Pharmacies for less. So, that's not too bad. Alright, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Creamy Cleanser Makeup Remover. Uh, the full size will cost $9.99 available at Priceline and Chemist Warehouse. This guy's a freebie. I may actually do a little video on this one. Not sure. We'll see how we go. Um... I'm a bit of a chicken when it comes to trying new things. I like it, but I just... Ee. So anyway, 
The other things that we can discuss, if you're still interested in everything to do with Ballabox, is that Ballabox is a monthly subscription. There's no contract. You can um, opt out at any time. Um, it comes once a month. You get five to six sort of um, products. Some, most of them will be like sample size. But as you just saw, I got two full size items. Um, and a lot of the times the sample size will last you a long time. Like this little guy here, this will probably work for about eight uh, washes, you know, so the samples are really, really generous. Um, so there's absolutely no complaints there. It'll cost you $20 per month to sign up for the regular Bella Box. Um, and there is a full beauty profile that you will go in there. I'll actually put some pictures up in a minute or right now to explain how that works. Um, for example, if you've got dry skin, opposed to oily, combination, normal, um, you'll check all of those boxes. And if there are items where, in this case, we had the option to have the Pantene um, repair um, foam or the leave-in conditioner, They'll base it off your beauty profile, um, or if we have like a peel mask opposed to a hydrating mask, if you're more on the combination side, you might get the peel mask. If you're more on the dry side, you'll get the hydration mask. So that's how it sort of works out. If you like, um, say, nail polishes over moisturizers and all that sort of thing, if we're in a situation where Bellabox um, have a choice between a nail polish or a moisturizer, you'll get sent the most... Um, the most, uh, what do you call it, um, you'll get sent the products that best suit your beauty profile. You can go in there and you can change that at any time, everything is, is good. Um, also they have items where occasionally you can opt in for your own shade, so if we have lipsticks available, let's just say that there's three lipsticks, you can pick your shade, you can opt in for that, so that's absolutely fantastic too, and I have done that and I enjoy that. Um, generally when we do have opt-ins and stuff like that, you will get your Bella Box a little bit further on in the month, but generally we get them around about mid-month, you know, maybe two or three weeks into the month sort of maximum. I've only ever once got it at the end of the month. I understand exactly why though, and I wasn't too upset when I did get it towards the end of the month because the products were absolutely amazing. So that's that for um, explaining on how Bella Box works. I believe that the first time that you sign up, you'll get $5 off your first box. Um, pretty sure that's still working, so check that out. I'll leave the link for Bella Box below. I've also got other Bella Box videos available. Um, I've done three or four, I believe. I'll leave a link up here if you like, if you want to go and watch those, so you can get an idea of the kind of items that um, you could receive if you were to join up with Bella Box. Bella Box also has boxes for other people as well, like the, there's a men's one, there's a baby one, um, and they also have some special edition ones here and there as well. So. I love it. I enjoy it. It's like getting, um, you know, you got good mail. You're getting a present every single month, a present for yourself. And sometimes that's what we need. We need to feel special. And for such a small price, I mean, I always get my money's worth. And if there's something that I don't like, I can generally find somebody who will get something out of it. And I'm still left with products that still were worth more than the amount of money that I spent on the subscription to begin with. So I'm never disappointed. And like I said, if I am disappointed one day, I can opt out. Or if I see a sneak peek or something like that and I'm not really too keen, or I can't afford the next month, I can opt out at any time, opt back in whenever. So that works for me and I love it. So I said I was gonna give you guys some swatches. First, I will tell you the Manakada mascara. I tried this the other day, and um, it's different. Like I don't, I don't dislike it. I think that this is um, quite good for people who like that sort of natural look. So, like this, this is the one that I'm talking about. Um, I like a really um, volumizing and lengthening uh, mascara. I like my eyelashes to be really, really bold. Um, generally, a lot of the time you can't see the eyeshadow that I'm wearing. I have deep set eyes. And, um, and that sort of annoys me a little bit. So I do like my eyelashes to be really, really dark because that's what you're going to see the most of. Um, this one here, I find, separates the eyelashes really, really well. Um, so it does coat every single eyelash, but it's very minimal. So um, if you like a minimal kind of um, mascara, this one's definitely going to be up your alley. It's good for grabbing the ones down the bottom after you wipe the product off the stick, off the tip, to make sure that you don't put too much on there. But it's definitely not like a, um, a dramatic uh, mascara. So it will coat all of your lashes. It'll make you look like you have more lashes than you actually do because they're showing up. So basically it's just, it's kind of like just a tint for your already natural lashes. So there's nothing really too um, 
in your face about this mascara. Do I think it's great? For somebody. I don't particularly, it's not my favourite, so I'm going to hand this one down. But still the items that I want, I want to keep out of this box still worth more than the money that I spent on it. Um, I am looking forward to like using this foam and I may do a review about it if it's any good. Um, the eyeshadows. Alright, I did swatch these the other day. Um, I tried these on my own eyes. I can tell you that they go on lovely. They go on great with fingers. They go on great with brushes. Uh, they are pigmented. There's two that are more pigment pigmented than the other ones. So this one here, this peachy one, it's very, very light. Um, so it's not the best one in my opinion, but these two here are very pigmented and I will give you a little bit of a swatch now. So one of them is like a peachy pink, absolutely gorgeous, like beautiful colors. And um, another one is, I'm not sure exactly how to explain this one, but it's a little bit brassy. Anyway, it's beautiful on the eyes. And we also have like a burgundy, almost reddy, tingy colour. So yeah. That's pretty much everything that I can tell you about Bellabox that I can remember at the moment. Look, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It allows other people to be able to see it. Um, plus it helps me as well. I'm an itty bitty uh, creator and I would love to be a little bit bigger than I am. And um, yeah, go ahead if you want to subscribe and see more videos like this. I do. I will be doing more Bellabox videos, but I also do other beauty videos like empties and um, what's coming out, what's hot, what's not. Um, makeup reviews, uh, product reviews, skincare reviews, you name it. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. But don't forget to check the bell because if you don't check the bell, you're not going to get notified of the videos that I put up. And you'll be wondering where they are. And um, if you want to leave a message or a comment down below, go for it. I absolutely love getting messages and comments. I will always respond to them. And um, thank you very much if you stuck around and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.